Today we're checking out GTA 5 and on the OG Ally, and we're playing at the NDP at the high settings with no FSR. We can't even use FSR because this is the legacy version of the game. And for this one, I'll be testing at Windows 11 as well as SteamOS. And in the game we're sitting at 60... 61 to 69, up to 76 up here. Doing quite good, the game looks nice, there's no stuttering, and there's no lagging as well. Now, a bonus to having it on Windows is we have access to GTA Online. On SteamOS, that is blocked off due to the anti-cheat. I think last year, the game got an anti-cheat update, which blocked off Linux. So, SteamOS just, I guess, broke. But before that, it was definitely playable for campaign as well as online. Driving fast, the FPS is still quite stable, sitting at like 68 up to 75. And again, there are no stutters at all. Driving up here, the FPS should fall down by a bit, and... It does, sitting at 61 to 65, still quite good, and again, there's no stutters. Let's pause the game, try online, and see how we got there as well. And loading into online, the FPS will be lower, because it is more intensive, but still, we are doing pretty good, sitting at 47 up to 50. Hey, Stop calling me, <laughs> it happens every time I swear. Going as fast as I can here, and it is keeping up. Can't get 60 FPS at the current settings, but if you lower them, it will come closer. Alright guys, 900p, same settings, 30 watts, let's see how we go. FPS wise, we are doing better here, sitting at 75 up to 83. And the game looks fantastic. It does look as good as before, so if you are playing portably, this is what I would pick at 30 watts. And driving fast, it is doing just fine again. Oh no! Oh no. Yeah, this is why I don't <laughs> ride bikes. Okay. Driving fast, the FPS does do quite well as well. Still holding on to that 60 FPS mark. Really, it's sitting at like 71. So, no problems there at all. This is kind of slow, actually. This is a stock bike, I think, and I still crashed it. That takes skill. And if you go up that hill near the highway, the FPS should be above 60 FPS still, since we have plenty of headroom. I mean, really, it is the same FPS, because a GP was down to around 70% in usage, Coming up here, it goes up to 90%, so same FPS, but higher GP usage. And back to online, let's see how we go now. Okay, that's an insane start. How do I manage this even? And even going fast, the FPS is the same, sitting into the mid 50s and the high 50s. So we had what, like 40 to 50 FPS before? Near 60 while standing still. Here we're sitting at 55 to almost 60 and standing still into the 70s. Eh, not quite, 65 really. So if you are playing portably with the built-in screen, this right here is the pick. Lastly, 720p, 15 watts, and we are doing amazing, sitting at 70 FPS near the beach. Let's go find a car, ooh, good timing. And again, for the graphics, amazing. It is very sharp, it looks fantastic on the built-in screen. So this is also a great option if you are playing on the go. One last test, and then we can jump into SteamOS. And the same thing happens here, where the FPS stays the same, but the GPU usage goes up. Sitting at 40 FPS, can feel stutters here, I can feel a bunch of stutters, but it's still playable if I'm being fair, it's not too bad. And 40 FPS is still playable for me as well, 30 to 40 in this game is fine. On console, on PS4, PS3, played the game at 30 FPS at most, so it was playable back then, it's still playable now. SteamOS at 1080p and at 30 watts. Standing still, we are sitting at 65 to 67. And driving up, let's see how far the FPS falls down. But it should be not by a lot, to be honest. 70 FPS out here, so has gone up from the previous area. So if you are playing in dock mode on a TV or a bigger screen, this is the way to do it. So overall at 1080p, the FPS was around the same as Windows 11, very close to it, except at the end when we drive up the hill and the grass and the foliage is visible. The FPS falls down into the 60s quite easily on Windows 11, whereas on SteamOS we can hold 70 FPS for the most part with slight dips into the high 60s. 900p, 30 watts, and doing better here guys, we are doing better here, sitting at 85 to 90, lowest point has been 72. I think it's fair to say that most people that are playing this game are playing it for online and SteamOS just can't do it. The campaign mode, it might run better, but can't play online, dude. So I'm not sure how many of you are playing this for the campaign, 
but if you are, I would choose SteamOS, but if not, then Windows is the obvious choice. It plays well on both, but FPS wise, it will be a bit higher on SteamOS. 720p at 15 watts, and we are sitting at 70 FPS up to 80 FPS. Again, playable, looks good, and is fine for portable play. Now let's pause the game here guys, lower the TDP, and see how far we can push it before it falls down below 30 FPS. And at lowest point for 30 FPS is 10 watts. So if you're trying to save battery, choose 10 watts and that will give you 30 FPS at the high settings. You can go further down to the low settings and get more out of it, but the game will look pretty awful. So for the high settings, choose 10 watts and you'll be okay at 30 FPS. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time for the next video. See you guys then.